Welcome into Drew Daily Diamonds for Friday, October 25th, 2024, the weekend starter coming to you now. We are breaking down three college football games, Friday night lights for tonight. If you're interested in the World Series preview, I broke that down on Tuesday's show, so you can check that out on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Guys, let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. Your picks for tonight for this weekend all is welcome. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up here, guys, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. In the ACC, Chestnut Hill, Boston, Massachusetts, Alumni Stadium on ESPN2. It's Louisville and Boston College. 53 in the hook being the total. We are seeing Louisville. Minus seven in the hook as the road favorite. Louisville comes in four and three straight up. They are five and two to the over. So a little over trend here for Louisville. BC coming in four and three on the season. However, totals wise, they're an under trender, just two and five under trend. They have lost back to back games talking about Boston College. But there is a situation here, schedule spot that I actually like BC. It, it, and it's the rest aspect. They played last Thursday. A tough loss at Virginia Tech, whereas whereas Louisville, they actually played on Saturday against Miami, and now they're having to head on the road here with the rest disadvantage. And that game against Miami, man, it was a tough one for Louisville. Back and forth. They did play well offensively. The problem is defensively, they couldn't get any stops. They ended up losing that game. They couldn't cover as well. They've now lost, uh, what, three of their, their last four games, all against ranked teams, and also coming into ACC action, Louisville has been outgained by all four ACC opponents. So in conference, they've really struggled. BC losing the back-to-back -back games. However, they're 3-0 at home. Head coach Bill O'Brien, for whatever reason, he's coaching them up here in Chestnut Hill. Their quarterback, Castellanos, he's a guy I'm looking to bet on. He makes play plays with his feet. Pretty good college quarterback. Overall, guys, I think the home dog is barking here. Money line, we get a really nice plus price. But for the show, we're jumping on the seven and a hook here with the home dog. Rest advantage, better defense at home. Home dog is barking, guys. It's Boston College plus the seven and a hook. There was an eight and a half out there. That got taken out. So seven and a half across the board now. BC to lead us off here, 730. 30 minutes later, we are heading to the Big Ten, the new Big Ten here. It's actually Los Angeles, California, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, on Fox, it's L.A. Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. 56 being the total, it's USC minus 14 point home favorites against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Rutgers comes in losing three straight. Actually, both teams losing three straight. So something's got to give here. We'll break down Rutgers side first up. They're really banged up right now, guys. If you remember back early in the season, Rutgers got off to that great start. They were actually 4-0. Well, now they're just sitting at 4-3. and And a big reason why is the injuries are piling up for the Scarlet Knights, particularly on defense, but also on offense as well. And, you know, early in the season, you know, that 4-0 that start, they, they went into Blacksburg and beat Virginia Tech. The only problem is that was a long time ago. You know, that was mid-September, more than a month ago. And I don't think this is the same team, you know, talent-wise, uh, roster-wise. They don't have the same players up and available now. And sure enough, the injuries have piled up to the point they gave up 500 yards to Washington. They still won that game somehow. But since then, they've given up a bunch of points to Wisconsin and to UCLA. I mean, if UCLA is scoring a bunch of points on you, that's troublesome. It's really not a team I'm looking to back right now, particularly making the cross-country trip giving up all those points to UCLA, now having to play a better offense in USC, that yes, they have lost three straight games, and they're just one and four in Big Ten play. However, they're four and oh against the spread in non-true road games. So I think they're actually, you know, a prime example of this Big Ten conference. The team's traveling two plus time zones, really struggling. USC is a prime example of that. Um, I, I, I think they run it up here, guys. I would look to lay the 14. I know it, you know, it kind of feels a little, you know, public square, whatnot, but I think it's two touchdowns for a reason. I think USC blows out Rutgers here. So it started on, on the West coast in the Coliseum. We're going with the home team, the Trojans laying the two touchdowns. Got one game left. It's late night action, but a reminder, if you could comment below, it does help out the algorithm. I'll be in there chiming in. Let me know uh, what you're looking to bet on tonight. 
uh, this weekend. And also, you know, the World Series preview was on the Tuesday show if you want to go check that out. And if you're interested in premium picks, you know, Saturday's college football card will be up. Uh, it is up. We got Sundays coming in here, uh, Friday night, top play as well. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com. And we do have that extended package, just $8 a day with college basketball right around the corner. That's probably your best bet. Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. All right, last game up, the nightcap. Friday night lights getting us set for the Saturday slate. We are heading to Las Vegas, Nevada, 1030 Eastern. 7.30 local time on CBS Sports Network. All three of these games nationally televised. Allegiant Stadium, Las Vegas, Nevada. The top two teams in the Mountain West. A possible Mountain West preview for the championship game. It was last year's championship game, which saw Boise State win 44-20. to We'll see if they can do so again here. Uh, Boise State going off as the three-and-a-half point road favorite. Now, it was minus three. It's bumped up to three-and-a-half at pretty much all the sports books. 64 being the total. Both of these two teams, one-loss teams. Boise comes in five-and-one. UNLV, six-and-one. UNLV has been a money maker. five-and-two against the spread. Now, they're having to step up in class here. This Boise State team is a solid one. And Boise State overall, they're led by their running back, Genty. He's going to be you know, toting the rock on Sundays. He's already got, what, 1,250 rush yards on the season. He's averaging almost 10 yards per carry. I haven't seen something like that. I mean, already in week nine, and you're almost averaging double digits uh, per carry. That's pretty crazy. Boise State is 6-0 and against UNLV um, in the last six matchups. However, you know, with the divisions in the Mountain West in the past, uh, they didn't play all that often. That goes all the way back to 2011. So I don't know if I'd bring too much into that sidewise. But the winner here, likely in the driver's seat for the group of five selection into the playoffs. So this is a big, big time matchup here. This is going to be a fun one to watch. Overall, guys, I would go after this from a totals perspective. 64, it's a high number, but it's high for a reason. Now, both of these two teams are going to look to run the ball. So it might keep the clock rolling. It, 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 but at the same time, UNLV, their, their defensive you know, defensively, they have stopped the run pretty well. But when you look at the teams they've played, they haven't played any team like Boise State that can actually run the ball with success. So I don't know how much I would put into those statistics. I'd kind of pump the break on that. I think Boise State's going to be able to score on this UNLV defense. They've kind of been suspect at times. And UNLV is a top five rushing offense, top five scoring offense as well. I think UNLV, I mean, Look, guys, there is a trend here that I don't think the market's too in tune to. We talked about this, I think, two Fridays ago when we when we hit this over with UNLV, and that is they're 3-0 to the over at home. And I bring that up because they play in Allegiant Stadium. You know, it's a controlled climate there. It's where the Las Vegas Raiders play. However, it's not the grass field that the Raiders play on. The Raiders do not let them play on their home field. They actually roll that out grow under the uh, the desert sun there, and they play on the turf. It's a fast track here. So UNLV has has nailed overs at home. I think that comes into, into play here against the Boise State team that's going to score themselves, and in the 3-0 overrun at home, it's by more than 80 points combined from the closing total. So they've really been underpriced here. I think there's something to that fast track controlled climate. I think both teams score. I think Boise state wins the game. However, more so guys, I like this over 64. I think they flirt with 70, if not beyond. So UNLV Boise state over the total. We got USC and the Trojans minus 14 against the Rutgers team. That's reeling right now with injuries. And we got Boston college leading us off seven 30 Eastern in chestnut Hill. Take the seven and a half with BC. Hey, maybe sprinkle a little bit there on the money line. The home dog is barking. So this gets us ready for the weekend. We'll be back on Saturday, guys, uh, with the Saturday college football slate Sunday as well. Drew's Daily Diamond. Hey, we've taken a couple losses here recently, but still 35 and 22, 61% for the month plus 10.52 units. Hey, we'll keep it rolling here. Bounce back form on Friday Night Lights. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that like button. Comment below. I'll be in there as well. Enjoy your Friday night. We'll be back on Saturday. Come back and join us. Until then, cash those tickets.